What's up, world? What's up, Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Google Plus, everybody? Um, this is an informative video. Okay, I'm going to give you some information that I think you all should know about. And the question is, is there such thing as free data or free data for life or however you want to call it? And um, it's a yes and there is a no. So it's, it's a yes and no. Um, let's go ahead and get into the no part. Um, the reason why there is... It's no free data for real, for real. It's because all companies got to make money off you. Okay. Don't, don't get me wrong. All companies got to make money. Um, so there's a limitation to the free data. Like, for instance, um, with T-Mobile. Okay. I have this Galaxy Tab um, 3. This is on Sprint's, Sprint's uh, tablet, but I'm also using my... Uh, T-Mobile data card, SIM card, and um, I had two lines, and I didn't need the uh, other line, so I turned that into a mobile hotspot line, and it's 200 megabytes. They told me 200 megabytes um, per month free, so it's nothing. I mean, you can only like use it for like maybe text messaging and probably emailing or you know just some small emailing and things like that but i mean if for an emergency reason or usage that that comes in handy so um that's such thing as free data and not free data now another one is freedom pop this is a freedom pop hotspot i did have a video um about a year ago on the Freedom Pop um, devices. And the phones, I'm going to be honest, the phones are crappy, okay? Um, Freedom Pop phone service is, is is horrible. But the hotspot is pretty durable. It's pretty durable. And um, the free thing about this is you get 500 megabytes of free data. 500 megabytes of free data, uh, 30 days. Um, if you want extra, of course, you're going to have to pay for it. So, um, and they do have a rollover data plan, but if you use that, that's three dollars and fifty cents a month extra. So let's say I don't use the five hundred megabytes that's already free given to me, free every month for free, and I wanted to use the rollover. I just said I want to keep those megabytes and not let them, you know, just disappear and just have a new five hundred megabytes every month and just want to keep adding it up. Um, I would do the 350 a month. That would be the cheapest route to do. But um, with this, you can you can do a whole lot of Facebooking, a lot of tweeting, a lot of Google Plusing, and I wouldn't recommend watching YouTube videos, and Netflix, Hulu Plus, on just the 500 megabytes. Now, Freedom Pop does have plans. T-Mobile has plans. Everybody has plans. But if you're a light user and you just you know, you're pretty much a business origin type person. All you need is to check your emails and send off, you know, memos and stuff like that. Then Freedom Pop is the way to go. Freedom Pop and T-Mobile and, and T-Mobile. You get with those two put together, that's 700 megabytes for free. So, I mean, it just depends on which one you're going to use most often. And I'm pretty sure you're going to use this one the most often uh, as it has 500 megabytes of free data. So, um with that being said, all you with Freedom Pop, all you doing is paying for this device. Now I got mine on sale for like twenty bucks, and I was trying to get people hooked up. I was like, "Yo, y'all need to check out Freedom Pop. Get the high spot for twenty bucks." But um, they went up on the price. These high spots now cost like I think forty or fifty bucks. But hey, after that, you don't have to pay nothing else. Just set it up, and boom, you got free data, five hundred a month, five hundred megabytes a month. Um, you can do, uh, free offers. You can download free apps on your Android device. Once you get your, uh, account signed up, you can download your, um, apps or you can sign up for quotes for like car insurance, things like that. And, um, those, those free offers will add up, uh, your megabytes and your data. And you also can hook up your family and friends with megabytes once they get signed up to Freedom Pop. Um, that's one good thing I like about Freedom Pop with the hotspot. I don't know if they do that with the phone services. 
I didn't have the phone services. I just felt like I tried this. I heard so much bad stuff about the phone, but the hotspot works pretty well. As you can see, I have 4G. I have 4G connection in my house, uh, in the house. So um, in my area, I have 4G net. I have 4G connection. So that's a good thing. It's 4G. It's it's, it's actually pretty fast. But um, yeah. So back to it's data free. Can data be free? Yeah. And can data um can data uh, also not be free? Yeah. So it's it's all your preference, guys. Um, I'm just trying to save millions of people, hundreds, thousands of dollars on these devices and um, services and networks. So you want to go ahead check out T-Mobile. Also, if you are with T-Mobile, I hope you got the three gigs and five gig um, plan because if you do, you get the data rollover. Let's say you don't use two gigs this month. That two gigs roll over to the next month. So that way you can watch Netflix and Hulu Plus and you know all those um, um, videos, uh, those um, the ones you use uh, movies and you know TVs with, and. Um, if I'm not mistaken, I think Google Play Music allows you to download the movie separately. So if you got Google Play, go ahead and get you some Google Play credits and you know download you some movies and TV uh, seasons, and that way you can download it to your phone or tablet, and you won't even need data to watch you know your favorite stuff. So um, with all, uh, that's another subject I'm gonna talk about. Talk about free movie apps, free TV apps. I got that one coming up soon. So uh, stay tuned, guys. More informative videos coming soon. It's your boy. I'll take you out, guy. Peace.